told him with his, his position man is Manny Ramirez, so uh, good chance he might be playing Australia this winter and next year in Taiwan. So uh, if he could still do it at age 48, a yard of 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 17. Y'all want to move up to the next level? This all it takes is hard work. You know? Whenever you, a game like this y'all have today, y'all fix it. Whatever y'all doing wrong, y'all get the next day, y'all start off fresh. And wipe out the one that just happened and have this more on one. And I'm taking it to it. And that's the game, boom. There are going to be scouts in the night and looking at you. Um, don't let them get you nervous. Just have fun. That's what baseball's about. Just have fun. Get out there. Relax. They know about us. You see what we like? We'll be confident. There are. But, uh, Y'all pretty young. Y'all pretty good. But y'all can get better. A lot better. Yeah, you were throwing pretty good. You were throwing uh, what, junk? A lot of slow stuff or what? You were the last pitcher, right? Yeah. Okay, you were throwing a lot of stuff. You were throwing, y'all throwing them by arm. Y'all see them on the TV. Everything everybody sees is this. And, and that's it. Don't worry about that. I mean, everybody does that. You want to get, you don't know how fast you're throwing, but you want to get what you call more out of it, more speed. What you need to do is crack your leg and break it down. You know, you gotta, if you throw it, you gotta hit the guy, catch right here. Everybody's legs all the time, you need to right here, push there. In and out, in and out, high and low. Y'all got some good players. But I'm gonna tell you something. It takes heart and dedication. You see a girl, you, you mess with a girl, huh. don't, eh, I'm gonna tell you something. That's what happened to me, I had to check the Negro Poppy twice. I fell in love. Because he Taylor came and asked my dad, I'll give you $90,000 to sign here. I said, no. I was in love, man. I mean, I blew that one. No problem. My dad came to the store for years. He didn't put it in the league. He told me, hey, they only come twice. They won't come anymore, son. You got after me. How many years they come? I didn't get a man. I said, no, my brother is pregnant. I blew it. He left and they come back. Hey, girls can... Yeah, they're beautiful. They're lovely. But if you want a career, there's plenty of girls out there. Or there's plenty of girls down the road once you get to the ball. But the thing is, is through your head, it's not just like baseball, it's sport. It's like boxing, not basketball here too. But if it's like boxing, any kind of sport you play, you gotta have fun. Enjoy yourself. Help your teammates. Hey, you do this, you gotta communicate. But today, I saw something that it was a really tough ball. Young fires ain't that great, but go check it off. You know, just, <laughs> just, just check it off. Don't even tell them nothing, go back, but later on he's going to find out. And I, mean, I, told, I told him, I said, man, you blew it. He said, look at me, because I know he blew it. So three back calls. You know, once when they touch home, you got him at home plate, next time just put a body to him, knock him out of the way completely. Because you were up in front of the line, you tell the boy you were like this, you were looking for him, he was coming, next time just hit him, knock him out of the way. You don't want to do that, but that's the only little part of fair. Okay. The other one that was batting, you see one like that. It was I'm, I'm looking at it. It's not even didn't even cross the plate. Okay, just shake it off. And right now I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Man, I don't really get this on front. Y'all good man. I'm not gonna tell you you're not bad. Yeah, yeah. There's some that needs a lot of help. But if you want to be a pitcher, a catcher, whatever position you want to play, look at yourself in the mirror. Practice, hey, what you gonna do if the ball comes to you. I mean, when you play out there, you put your heart into it, you know. Listen to the guy next to you. Yeah, I got it. 
you know, okay? Throw over here, whatever. You know, use your head, man. That's who you are. It's a lot more than an inspector. I coach independent bars at home. And that's what we worked on. We worked on uh, plays, you know, science and everything. Because if there's a good team that's out there, they don't have to be select, right? From the level I was in and hit this level, they're looking at every move, they, every sign you get. You got to communicate each other. It won't take long to take the whole family, the whole team. Y'all know what to expect. Where he's, where he's throwing the strike, what the umpire is calling. The two things you gotta follow is where the umpire strikes on his at and where he's throwing the strikes on his at. You see that? That means y'all know how to address the, the pitch and the umpire. Because the uh, umpire has different strike zone, so the pitch is gonna throw what the, the umpire is giving you. So those are the tips that you wanna give the you're keeping the pitches off. Find out where you're going. You can be a fastball going up. You could be like right here, going a curveball. Or he could just slow down to a curveball. He wants to be ready to rip that stuff, but you gotta be locked in. It's little things. And then, of course, again, you adjust to the umpire strike zone. There's a lot of little tips that you see. Uh, I, I stopped with these guys, so I broke their feet. What do you mean, these kids got a group? The highest one is going to be, uh, <laughs> so you have one. Tell them to raise your hand. Tell them to raise your hand. Yeah, I'll be behind you. I'd like to take this kid with me to Ray. At that age bracket. Man, I got to fill up. I got other pictures, but nothing else. Thank you.